오늘 하나님의 말씀은 고린도우서 Today, the message comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18 to 20. 2 Corinthians 1, 18 to 20. Let's read all together. 시작. But as surely as God is faithful, our message to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by me and Silas and Timothy, was not yes and no. But in him it was always been yes. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so, through Him, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Amen. When we listen to God's words, take the words with obedient heart. Seek the power to complete God's work. Pray for God sent us the wisdom and power knowledge of the preacher to the preacher. God, the Father, on this holy Lord's Day, you permit your servant to stand up and preach Touch your servant and work upon me so that we all of us take your words perfectly and help us to have a sincere faith. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's read the summary of the sermon. Uh, preach today, Amen Church. 시작. God gave us the gospel and thus saved us. He entrusted us with the gospel and wants us to proclaim it to the peoples of the world. Though it is our soul which received in gospel, it is with our heart and body that we spread the gospel. However, if we do not train our hearts and body through which the gospel is spread to be, to be of good use, our soul cannot fulfill its duty of proclaiming the gospel. In particular, our sincere hearts and lips should cry out Amen to the gospel which contains God's everlasting love and receive in it. In doing so, the saints' souls are awakened, their hearts are set, they are driven to move their bodies, and the church will have the energy to spread the gospel. Each of us ought to be trained to shout out Amen every time we hear the truth about grace. As we shout Amen, let us do so together with the saints as if we are praising together. Let us not forget that we have a calling as mediators of the gospel every day. The Amen Church is the only vessel on the earth that displays the authority of the kingdom of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ lead us to His kingdom 
He came as a man and gave his life so that we take the, his guidance to the heaven and he gave the commands to his disciples. Those disciples are antecedent of ours and we have an inheritance from them. Just like disciples of Jesus did, we have received the same commands. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, Jesus commanded to his disciples their tasks they had to do and the same commands we have received that is the spread of gospel we go out and spread the gospel and introduce Jesus to people so that the people may realize they are sinners. And at the same time, we help them know God sent His Son and redeemed our sins so that we have a gate to enter the kingdom of heaven. This is why this is the way we help the people to have eternal life and be the member of the church. We help people dwell in Jesus Christ. This is the most important task we have to complete. This is the duty we have to do, which is given by Jesus. In order to complete this task, the church train people, train saints, and set up the organizations and arrange things. This is all for doing and spread, spreading the gospel. And also individual, the saint has a additional task. We have to cleanse our souls. Individual saints should make an effort to cleanse our souls. So all in the morning to evening, we should keep, we should live according to the teaching of God's words. And we need to control ourselves and restrain ourselves so that we might cleanse ourselves. So do our families, all members of our families need to do, make an all efforts to do God's work. Our parents, our children, sometimes we have a very difficult jobs from workplace and we live very busy life. Sometimes we can't do extra work in the church because we are too busy. If the head of the family is busy, maybe wife can support him and encourage one another to do God's work. If we don't have enough time to participate in volunteering, we can do God's work in another way, succeeding in our business, doing our uh, work on our spot. So we have to help God's work in various ways. Children do their jobs. Wife 
do her jobs and also head of the family do their jobs on the right way seeking God's help whatever we do so that God moved us God work with His blessings every workplace is a need to be area of God so that we might take the holy lives we need to express our faith in this way whatever we do we need to be one and we have to complete God's work all together and we need to complete the duties God gave us commands and we need to make uh, all efforts we should be one to complete this duty we live by words of the Lord. We moved by the words. All our deeds of faith respond to the words of Jesus Christ. In the old days, disciples listened to Jesus' actual voice. But now Jesus ascended to the heaven. We can't listen to Jesus' real voice. But through the Holy Spirit, we take the God's words. And through other ways, we listen to Him. Rather, we take the accurate, more accurate and effective way to take God's words. If He comes, He tells everything about me. He will guide you in the truth, to the truth. That is an actual and practical way for us to take His guidance. That is a very effective way to take His guidance. We move by living God's words. That is why the worship is very important. We came here to face God. We need to bring our eagerness and passion to listen to God's words. We can win every week and we must succeed. We will not fail. We have all opportunity to win this world. There is no worrisome. My beloved saints, but there are few conditions which try to fail us. We have to be aware of this. Sometimes we have difficulties because of something, some kind of conditions. That is our flesh, thought of flesh. Our flesh and the thoughts and desire of a flesh interfere our passion. On a daily basis, it brings us challenge and hardships to our daily lives. Some of us, we follow the desire of a flesh and bring some obstacles whenever we do, do something. When we work together, sometimes some of us bring the physical desire to the meeting and made a better effect. So reduce the effectiveness. 
So we must not be those, those kind of people. We have to desert, abandon all the old habits. Because now we have a master of eternity. Now we live with the life of Jesus Christ. So we have to abandon old, old habits, old beings. So that Jesus uses us as a new being. We need to contribute all our works on our spot. That is one important thing we have to know. Sometimes my wife gave me advice, which is very graceful. In the past, when my wife gave me advice, I didn't listen to her. So she stopped sharing, uh, giving the advice to me. But at some point, I started to take her advice with Amen, and then she gave me more advice. Whenever my wife told me yes or no and good advice, I should make a choice, yes or no. Whenever I took her advice, do I need to accept it or not? Sometimes, I don't want to take her advice. My body doesn't want to take her advice, but I know my soul wants to answer with yes. Sometimes, because of our obstacles, uh, desire of flesh, Sometimes we ignore the words, good advice. Sometimes we just want to take some practical information. But we may lose everything. There is no gains. But if we accept someone's advice, the words of God, with the Amen, with determination, and we will be able to practice. Once we say Amen, we can put into practice. And I was shocked how much I practice. Once I take words with yes, and I grew up in this way. So I started to be careful of the language of God. I will be with you forever. God said, Jesus said, Jesus ascended up to the heaven. How is it possible for him to be with us forever? But we accept the word with the Amen. There are many vice pastors. When one of the vice pastors delivered the message, if we have a holy attitude, try to take some practical information, and it surely, uh, you may surely fail to take God's words. This is a religious life. On my standard, that is a failure. When a vice pastor preached, if we take God's words with Amen, we take all God's words in our souls. And 
Pastor delivers the words. Pastors are tools to deliver God's words. Nobody can challenge the authority. Because pastor delivered the message by the touching of the Spirit. And we have to listen to him. We have to take God's words. This is God's words. And the Bible says, Do not take this as man's words. Take it as God's words. This is why we have to respond with a yes. And God's words will work in those one who have a faith. This is the way God's work works. I have visited many sanctuaries. Every sanctuary has a different way to respond to God's words. Some of the sanctuaries has a fullness of uh, active response, and others are not. What brings this dif difference? That is the attitude of worship. Certain sanctuaries, uh, members of church, dance passionately, pray fervently, fervently, with a loud voice, and offer the si with a sincere heart. And they are waiting for listening to the word of preachers. So as a preacher, sometimes I feel God uh, God inspired me and deliver the amazing God's words. At the moment, I realized this is not me, but God. God used my lips. And then the saint can uh, take the God's words. But as a preacher, sometimes I got lost. This is wrong, something wrong. I am sometimes feel this way. And even I'm worried. This is something wrong. I want to stop preaching sometimes. When there is a yes, amen, the preachers and preachers should listen to amen and that word awaken the preacher. If the preachers cannot listen to Amen, the preachers is possible to make a, a tell a lie to overcome the situation, overcome the difficulties. But if the saint answered with Amen and call the Lord, the Lord, and pray the fervently, the saint doesn't show any passion. It is hardly possible for preachers lose this, uh, lose the power to lead, because the servant of the Lord wanted to all the saints build up the relationship with the Lord. But if there is no response from the saint, God would not please with this. When pastor deliver God's words, when preachers fulfill God's ministries delivering the message, we have to succeed in our worships. It should be win-win. We believe God's words in our hearts and we are saved when we confess. Unless if we confess with our lips, it is not necessary. Uh, it is uh, pointless. And we have to listen to faith, uh, listen to words and set up, have a faith. When we listen, it comes from the words of Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is the beginning of the words. Those one who have ears listen to the words of the Holy Spirit. As the Bible says, the words comes to us through the Holy Spirit in the church. Even if we have ears, we have sometimes we cannot listen to God's words. When I visited some of the sanctuaries, I listened to Amen from saints. It make the preachers awake and get inspired. This world is so competitive. This is the world of survival. And we have uh, the attitude of combat. But at the moment I listen to the, some of say, Amen, I am awakened. And if we just follow the way of the world, we may lose. But if we respond with Amen, we can get inspiration from the, from the Spirit. If we have that kind of attitude, if we want to persuade me, do it. And that kind of a holy attitude block us to receive God's grace. And we have to take God's words through the Holy Spirit. And we, as a listener, we have to open our heart and respond with the Amen and concede God's words with our open heart. Please do not underestimate your flesh. Our body is a tool for gospel. We should be God's hands, God's lips, God's mouth, God's feet. We do the issue the visa to heaven. Well, we evangelize and believe in Jesus, come to church, Jesus shed his blood for you. We preached, we evangelized like this, which means this is a visit to heaven, take it. This world is the place for devil. Those people who are suppressed by the devil and they focus on the desire of the flesh and we have to get into the area of the devil and awaken their souls. That is the domain of the devil. But we can be bold enough to drag them out out of the devil's area. We have to exercise the influence of God, Jesus, so that we might use our lips in that way. We have to use our heart and move our body so that God use our body for His work. 200 years ago, there was one general, Nelson, in Britain, who was like an Isun Shin, Korean Navy general. He led a small fleet in defeating all the enemies against the Union of France and Spain. He led a marvelous victory. And he survived Britain. And England won the battle. And Nelson said, Thank God. Thank God. I've done my duty. I have done my duties. 
Thank God I did my job. I have done my jobs. And now the people have to do extra work. Now I have done my duties. You and I don't come to church to receive something. We have to give something to the Lord. This is time to work. When we come to church, we have to give something instead of to receive something. We have to give and spread the gospel. We are well trained, the body, to do God's work. You and I will meet the Lord who is a judge. He will come as a judge. Someday, we should take His praise. If we do not make an effort now, there is no other chance. If we don't have any passion, any desire, any eagerness when we worship, something's wrong. We have to encourage each other, one another, and show the interest in God's work so that we might we might be used the as the tools for spreading gospel. There was a scripture said, God records everything. If we are not being used for God's work, God would stop increasing and rather God worked as a seduction. You may feel I'm doing a good job. Maybe you are going to the opposite. But if we do not go back, just like a fig tree, the Lord cursed could be dried out. When we come to the Lord, we have to make this glorious moment together. When we come before God, we have to have a heart to eagerness. Sometimes when we offer, uh, some of you offer coins, doesn't take my words uh, in a secular way. If you are not interested in offering, God does, doesn't show any interest in you. If you read Haggai, this is the same message today, not only in the Old Testament era. The words in the Old Testament era but doesn't vanish, it still works today in us. Means revive the church. You are so interested in your house, even if the the Lord's house is so barren. Look at yourself. Even if you sow, but you cannot reap. Whatever you put something in your pocket, you may lose it. That was a wording of God. Through Prophet Haggai, God delivered the message because the saints, uh, Israelites, failed to do offer properly. As a people of Israel, as a people of God, they did their job as a duties. We do the same thing. We offered, but we offered as children of God. In the past, 
God said, you didn't take care of the temple of God. They, in the past, the Israelite, they served the temple, temple of God. But now we ourselves the temple, and we gather together here, and the, we the church. And the temple in the past and the we ourselves today is the same. Now we became the temple. So in order to meet the Lord, we have to prepare the holy offerings. We have to give the holy offerings to the Lord. I want to meet God with a determination, with eagerness. We have to make this worship. We need to face the Lord together. You have to have a mindset to see, the, see God. Even children, even young children, three years old, four years old, even those children offer meal, not coins. They don't know what is the point to offering, but others cannot offer coins. Do not offer like this. Prepare bills. I know some of you have a very hard, uh, difficult time financially. But we don't know when the Lord will come. Maybe tonight. People pass away all of a sudden. But we don't know when we have a chance. When you have a $5 bill, do not use it and snatch it and put it in your pocket. And you have to keep it. I will give this to the Lord. And others, please prepare and miss $10. If you are uh, maybe prepare more up to your life, we are bold enough to give our life even. We must not ignore God. We must have a eagerness and Heart, hot heart. I want everybody to be inspired and touched by the Spirit. Holy Spirit might touch us. I will do my best. Make a determination and let's repent together. We are sinners. Through the week, I committed a sin. And encourage us, we'll move, we'll act, let's repent, help us to move, help us to act, which means I will abandon the desire of flesh, which comes from the secular world. I will do my best to succeed in my worship, have a determination, heart. Now I visited a different sanctuary to join for the dedication worship. And last Friday I went to one of the sanctuary and worship together. There were old ladies, saints. I don't know how old. She, she is 75 to 80. 
Maybe older than this. 거기 예비, 거기 이제 헌신할 때에 거기 분들은 제가 그래도 좀 어, 그런 예측할 수 없는 좀좀 뭐 방역이라면 방역이랄까. The sanctuary at a the very powerful worship. It was very advanced a worship style. It was very modern worship, modern praise. I was a little bit nervous. I was sweating, and my wife too. I looked around the saint. I was so nervous. You would not understand how much I got stressful. I was so nervous. But there was a one moment, all the stress is out. When we worshipped, you know, young people danced, and some people don't. But I saw two ladies, old ladies, who were very old. They danced. And those dances removed all my stress and touched me. Those dances are so beautiful. They are Christian. They are real Christians. These old ladies danced with passion. Their body moves. The upper body goes right and lower body goes to the left. And I asked the photograph to take a picture. But I don't know. I have to upload it through the YouTube. It was beyond my imagination. Their dance goes like this. Show this action, this motion. They move their bodies with passion, with all their eagerness. When I saw them, when I saw those old ladies who danced, they must be pray aloud. They must offer sincerely and respond Amen loudly in worship. I know they receive God's words and God's words working in them. If I uh, am a, a layman, I would do the same things. I would do the same thing. Because I'm overseer, I couldn't do it that much. But my wife would know if I were a layman, I would do the exactly the same thing. But we answer Amen. We dance together and pray together so that we, our body be used the tools for the spreading the gospel and awaken the souls of your neighbors, awaken your souls, and we gather together and encourage one another and do God's work with determination. There are so many churches in the world. Most of the churches has Amen. But many Western church so-called the church with intelligence. They take the words by their brain only and they don't respond, say Amen. 
but rather those countries who underdeveloped country or developing countries responded with the Amen and revival churches filled with the Amen. There are many churches who, do, who don't respond with Amen. The Bible said, God is faithful. We should say yes only, not no. I teach you how to say yes. Our message to you is not yes and no. Was preached among you by me and Silas and Timothy. This is what the scriptures today. And through him, Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Now it is God who makes both of us you stand firm in Christ. We have to say yes in the Lord so that we show the glory to the Lord, to the God, to God. We have to respond with Amen to the Lord. This is not secular language. What is the nickname of the Lord? What's the another name of the Lord? The, the letter to the Laodicea Church, the, the origin of the creations, the another name of the Lord is Amen. So Revelation shows about the what will happen in the future. There was an Amen in heaven all the time. Those who belong to the Lord say Amen. Above the heaven, under the under the earth, I will give you all the power and the glory to the Lord. And all the elders bow down with say Amen. And after this, all the nations, all the tongues, every group of people that wear a white robe and stand in the, the Lamb, in front of the Lamb, and they proclaim that all the salvation is belong to our Lord and stand on the throne and worship to the Lord and say Amen and give you all the glorious thanks and wisdom and the power to our God forever. Amen. In other scriptures, 24 elders and all the creatures on the throne say Hallelujah, Amen. The Lord is coming. This is the day we are long for. He will come with a cloud. Every eye will see him. Those one who kill him will see him too. Every all the nations will be mourned and say Amen. So every many the parts of the Bible say Amen. Truly, truly, I will come. Amen. The Lord, come, Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. We have to practice. The way to heaven requires practice. When I read, please res I respect something from you. Everything comes from the Lord. Everything comes back to the Lord. All the glory will be with Him 
forever. Amen. Even if you don't say Amen, the Bible here is here's Amen. So this is what we do according to the teaching of the Bible. This is what the Bible says as it is. The God of peace and grace will be with you forever. Amen. Brothers, the grace of the crisis will be in your heart. Amen. Good job. If someone wants to say something, to say just like a God encourages you to say. In whatever we do, we ask, we should take the God's glory and give the glory to the Lord, which is work forever. Amen. Our Jesus Christ, who is only one, and He is the one who has all the power and authority and the glory. His work will be done forever. Amen. God Father, He gave us the everything, and He's the priest, and then everything of the eternity. Amen. He has all the power and authority. Amen. Now we can practice. Let's decide first. Let's make a decision in our heart. I want you to decide first. Book of John. The Lord said, I truly, truly said, several times, even if the number of chapters, He mentioned Amen more than that. He said, truly, truly, so many times. In original language, Lego, Lego, Amen, Amen, Lego Himin. Truly, truly, I said to you, I command you, those one who believe in me and those one, uh, the one who sent me will not be judged. You will be moved from death to life. There's no Amen, but it has an Amen in the front two times. Truly, truly means Amen. Truly, truly, all those that will listen to the voice of God, voice of the Son of God, and if you listen, you will survive. Amen. I truly, truly said to you, whatever you seek, you will be given by name, by my name. Amen. Truly, truly, whatever you seek to God, God will give you in my name. Amen. My beloved saint, whatever you listen to the grace of words, answer with Amen. When you shout it, please shout it and let us do this together with the saint as if we are praising together. We have a calling as a mediators of the gospel every day. Don't forget it. The Amen Church is the only vessel on the earth that displays the authority of the kingdom of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Please just stand up all together. Let's pray together. When we pray, God, touch us and inspire us. Let us move. I will give my heart. Let's give a one voice to the Lord. Amen. 
갖게 하여 주시옵시고 성도들이 깨워서 서로 깨우고 서로 움직이고 하나님께서 우리에게 말씀으로 우리를 쓰다 넘으시고 우리를 정말 쉴만한 물가로 인도하시고 또 하나님 정말 우리를 영원한 생명의 생명수 가운데로 인도하실 때에 우리 성도들이 그 하나님의 말씀을 잘 받아들이고 말씀 안에서 살수 있는 진정한 우리의 열심히 있도록 도와주시고 우리 영혼을 뿐만 아니라 우리 육신이 열심히 있게 도와주시고 우리 입술이 열심히 있게 도와주시고 우리 몸에 열심히 있게 도와주시고 우리 생각에 열심히 있게 도와주시고 우리 모든 각 성도들이 교회를 위하여 힘쓰는 모든 열심히 있도록 도와주시옵소서 하나님 아버지 God the Father 우리는 하나님의 교회 성락 Church is the church of the Lord of Jesus Let us say yes only and let us be one heart, one mind. Let us complete the tasks you want us to do and awaken us and respond with yes. Amen. Let the church and let all the members of the church have a living faith and lead a faithful life and work upon us. We love God's works and let us offer with a sincere heart so that we might move to save souls. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.